I wanted to show you the Maxpedition Remora. Mostly I'm going to focus on sizing. I sized up a few of these Maxpedition products and I can never tell online whether it's going to suit my needs or not. But I walked in a store and, and saw this Remora and I was shocked by two things. One was the size and the other one was the color. It's pretty shockingly in a green, like an olive green color khaki. It's not your summer shorts khaki color. It's more of that greenish khaki. Mostly men would wear. You wouldn't really see women wear this color. Um, but it's really nice. If it was the yellow base khaki, I wasn't interested in, in it. And all the pictures online show it as more yellow. And I was really pleased with this greenish hue to it. It's darker, deeper. It's not a summer color, really. I mean, of course I'll use it in the summer, but you know what I mean? It's not like yellow, like this ruler is yellow. Okay. So what I needed the remora for was an everyday bag that I could fit a couple of essential items. But this is it. This is right here. This pocket is incredible. It holds the essential things that I need. iPhone, Blackberry, wallet. It's not even much of a wallet, it's just a card holder really. It has a keeper in here, um, which there, there really wouldn't be room for my keys with these couple items in there. Um, that's okay, I'm sure somebody has use for it. And it has these two, yeah that's a much better picture, it has these two um, sleeves in here. They're elastic, I don't know what I'd use them for. The main compartment is huge. It's huge! Um, I mean, phone. That's not a phone. That is. Tissues. My wallet in the other pocket's so small because I keep all my other cards and health cards and credit cards and stuff in here. This is one of these Moleskina accordion things. It's like cardboard. Reading glasses. I carry this giant hard case, but it's just. That's what I got. Index cards, another little Moleskina notebook. These are the Volant. This is pretty cool. They, they kind of just came out with these. They're soft cover. Real small little notebook. I haven't used it yet. I just carry notebooks that I never write in. This one I do write in. This is a Moleskina Kahir. And I write all my notes. I keep a pen in it. I kind of wish there was an outside pocket on the Remora. Well, there is. Actually, I should probably keep this in here. But we'll get back to that pocket in a second. And carry bar. What else? Chapstick. Okay, so let me keep going. <laughs> uh, Gerber artifact. Oh my god, I didn't know this was in here. This is a, a workforce pouch that I got at Home Depot. You can get like three for five bucks or something. And I call this comfort. This has like um, wipes and um, lotion, tampons. And the house is in here. Kids' crayons. And okay. That said, this thing is huge. It really, for a small bag, it really has an enormous amount of space. It's got the Velcro with this big pouch here. It has the main compartment. And what else is in here? This other sleeve here has Velcro in it. And I'm pretty sure that's for a Velcro holster where you can put your, your gun if you need to slide one in. You have easy access to it from this main zipper. Whoosh! Right there. Grab. So th this is a really nice size bag. So let's see if I can help you see how big it is. Ten inches. Ten inches deep. And we got about seven and a half wide. Probably call it four. Four deep, the main compartments. And the front pocket with this stuff in it. I mean, this is an, an amazing amount of stuff that I have in this little bag. So this thing here is um, six and a half 
about six and a half. And how deep is it? Looks like you might looks like you might be able to zip or something that's two inches wide in this front pocket. So the other neat feature of the remora is this back area. It's behind a little snap. This padding keeps it nice on your 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 back. I know I stuck my here in there, but this also is fully velcroed, and you can use a velcro holster to put your concealed weapon in there. And it and I see that it would fit nicely. I don't think a large 1911 would fit in there, but I think any other um, automatic would fit in there. I don't know too much about revolvers, but um, it's a good size. I try to fit a Nalgene bottle just for the heck of it. See how big this back pouch was, and it and it doesn't fit. It's not, um, it just, I would never, there's nobody would do that. <laughs> That's not cool. Would it fit in the main pouch? I don't know, let's check it out. Yes, the Nalgene fits, Nalgene fits in the main pouch and it zippers. So I'm gonna guess you could fit two Nalgenes in here. So that, that's the answer. How big is a remora? It can fit and zipper two Nalgenes in the main pouch and a gun in the back and your iPhone and Blackberry and keys and wallet in the front. That's a good size bag. It's hooked here. You can remove this thing, which is kind of cool. You can go like that, watch. Neat, huh? Detach the bottom. And you can carry it like that. Zipper it up so it looks pretty. But you can carry it on the handle like that. That's kind of... That's a really nice, compact little bag. Okay, so of course, you know, it has these, um, these. I think these are called Molly attachments, so you can buy other things from Maxpedition, little pockets, like maybe a, a phone pouch or an organizer that they sell now. So you, or the M1 waste packs or something like that. You can carry on the side. And, oh, this is cool. You know, you can put your big knife through here. <sighs> Your big dagger. Carry that to school. Let's see. This is an air pump. Yeah, that fits. If you're biking, that air pump could fit in there. It's just like a secret little thing. I don't know what this, I have no idea what this is for. I guess it's the same idea of securing something. Maybe a, a something something. Put your thing there. That's, that's what it's for. I just figured it out. Okay, so Maxpedition Remora. This is a great bag. I'm, I'm loving it. It's a perfect size for your everyday. Pack it up and go to where you got to be. Okay? All right, well, that's it. That's the groovy there.